Hi, let's talk about making a tutorial video. If you follow the easy steps I lay out for you here, you are sure to create a solid and engaging video. The very first thing you're going to want to do is to create an outline for your video. This is an overview of the content you'll have in your tutorial. This will help keep you organized and on track with your video. It will also help you set up for the next step, which is creating a storyboard. The storyboard is a master plan that tells you what to show in what order, including when there will be an on-screen speaker, when a screencast will be introduced, and whether a presentation will be embedded. Once your storyboard is complete, the next logical step is to write your script. This might seem a little intimidating, but you have actually already done the hard part by creating your outline and storyboard. A good script has a solid structure with a clear beginning, middle, and end like this example here. When you're done with your first draft, don't forget to review it and make sure everything is correct. Okay, you're ready to start recording, but have you figured out how? The first step to a good recording is having a good microphone. Check out this article to learn how to select a quality mic. Now that you have a microphone, you'll need software to record it. One excellent option is iSpring Suite Authoring Toolkit. This recording tool gives the awesome feature of picture-in-picture -picture recording, which means you can record two videos at the same time, a screencast and a webcam video. Let's take a look at two different kinds of recordings you can do with iSpring. A screencast with a narration or a screencast with webcam narration. Let's start by looking at a screencast with a voiceover. You can specify the size of the recording area here. This can be the screen area, full screen, or a specific application. Select the record button to get started. When you're done, stop the recording. You'll see a pop-up appear that asks if you want to add annotations to the screen recording. This will detect your movements and add visual cues to where you click. You can edit these later. Once you're finished recording your screencast, you can record your narration. Before clicking on the record button, make sure you have everything set up properly. To put the script in front of you, you can copy and paste the voiceover text in the narration area. Then, whenever you're ready, select Start Record. Here's how to start a free trial with iSpring Suite. Begin by heading to the website and clicking the Start Free Trial button. Then type your email address. And when you're finished recording, select Done. Your newly recorded audio will appear in your timeline along with your screen capture. Let's take a quick look at our second option, recording a screencast with webcam narration. All you have to do is switch from screen to screen and camera, and you'll be able to record both your screen and webcam at the same time. Okay, if you've opted to record the screencast and voiceover separately, you'll want to edit them to make sure your audio and video are in sync with each other. From here, you can line up your audio and video tracks in the timeline. You can also trim the audio and make sure it syncs with the transition for the frame. You may also need to remove unwanted noise. You can also remove unwanted video if you have excessive footage or you make a mistake. Use the split icon to cut off the unwanted segment and then the scissors icon to remove it from the timeline section. To enhance your tutorial, you can insert videos, audio, images, text blocks, and shapes and edit them directly on your screen. You can also add title screens and headings on any part of your video. And remember those annotations we added earlier? Here's where they show up. You can adjust where they appear and their size and what they say. When you're finished, you can select Publish to export as an MP4 or upload directly to YouTube.
And just like that, you've created your very own tutorial video. That wasn't so hard, now was it?